My family has been here since 1947. I'm fourth generation. Curtis Gerke runs his business near 90th and Aurora. Like many of the frustrated merchants in this area, he's put up surveillance cameras and he's been documenting the crime, the drugs he's seen right outside his door, and the violence. We had a stabbing a month ago across the street. We had a stabbing down the street a week ago today. Uh, we had a stabbing right where we're standing in July. His camera captured the melee around 3 in the morning. Probably about eight or nine people. They beat, robbed, and stabbed him. He adds it to the list of laws he's seen broken on Aurora. It's open air drug use, open air drug dealing, prostitution. It's happening in Seattle's District 5, and neighbors showed up to let the city know what they think. Allison Lord points out police response times. Now we're short 300 police officers, and how are we going to improve public safety without 300 police officers? Kelly McKinney wants to know when the 35-year-old cramped police precinct will be replaced. Will they continue? to consider 130th and Aurora as siting for a new police precinct. Here they pinpoint where they live and submit written questions for elected leaders and law enforcement to answer. In the budget. Like when will the department make new hires? The mayor says she meets weekly with the police chief. One of the things we go over is where are we on hires? How many have we hired? How many have we lost? What's the morale of the troops? We're traveling across the country. We're trying to recruit anywhere we think we can get interest in SPD. And there's the question about capacity. All the planning for the last 13 years has been around one station, but that doesn't mean that there can't be two. When it comes to a new police precinct, the city's still working out the details. Back on this block, in front of Curtis's business, he knows what he wants. Just need to keep up on top of the problem, and I don't feel that the city's doing it. When he looks around his neighborhood, he says it needs to get better. In Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.